Hello everyone, myself is C.L. Rathod, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walsh Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today's topic is projections of line, learning outcomes. At the end of this session, student will be able to draw the projections of line with the different end conditions. So this is the simple problem. A line measuring 60 mm long has one of its extremity 20 mm in front of VP and 15 mm above HP. The line is inclined at 25 degree to HP and 40 degree to VP. Draw the top and front view. So this is the problem. So here we are going to start the problem and we have to read the problem carefully. A line AB measuring 60 mm long has one of its extremity 20 mm in front of VP and 15 mm above HP. The line is inclined at 25 degree to HP and 40 degree to VP. Draw the top and front view. So what are the given data is given we have to write down. So a line AB is measuring 60 mm. So line A is given 60 mm and two ends are given and two inclinations are given that is phi is equal to 40 degree and theta is equal to 25 degree. Now what I have to do, I have to take a reference line. So I have to take the reference line. So this is the reference line that is x and y and for so I'm going to take this reference and here what I have to do uh, I have to take the inclinations and another thing is that so 20 mm is in front of VP and 15 mm above HP is given so what I have to do I have to take 20 mm in front of VP so I'm going to take 20 mm here and 15 mm above HP then I have to take 15 mm here and then and some two ang angles are given that is 25 degree and 40, 40 degree to VP. I have to take the 25 degree line. So this is the 25 and this side I have to take 40 degree and line is given 70 mm long. That is the two length is given, that is 70. So I have to draw this 70 mm, sorry, 60 mm long line. And next, what I have to do, I have to take the locus of all the points. So this is the locus of this point and this is the locus of this point and similarly locus of this point and and locus of this point and I, I have to write down the locus point and before that I have to mention the name this is the AF and this is the B F dash line this is the a h and this is the b h dash line so now i have to write down the this is the locus of b f dash this is the locus of a f this is the locus of a h and this is the locus of B H dash. Now what I have to do, I have to project these lines. So I have to project this line up to locus of A F and I have to project this B F dash to locus of A H. A H. Then what I have to do next I have to rotate this line 
and I have to mention this point. This point is called B1F and this point is called as an B1H. Then next what is what I have to do AF as a center and B1F dash is a distance then I have to rotate this line up to the locus of BF dash and similarly AH is a center and B1H is the distance and I have to rotate this line and up to BH dash then I have to join this line from AH to this point this is the true length top front view length and this is the top view length we are going to get right and I have to mention this is B F and this is the B H point and I, I am going to show you the direction of lines this is how the direction of line now I have to write down this dimensions also this is the true length true length of 60 mm and this dimension is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP and this angle is already given that is 25 degree and this angle is given as 40 degree and now you have to pause the video and calculate the apparent angle of both top view and front view I hope you have calculated the alpha and beta so now I have to show you how to calculate the apparent angle so this is the apparent angle of this the top view so I am approximately I am getting 35 is the alpha and from the top view I am getting 30 43 is the beta so this is how we are going to draw the projections of line with two different uh, angle given and a line measuring 60 mm so thank you